Good Louisiana food right here in LA. Crawfish, of course, a huge part of Cajun cooking. Lisa Hodges and Corey Cohen from Ragin Cajun Cafe in Redondo Beach are here. Welcome, both of you. Thank Welcome. you for having us. Thank you. Oh, I love good spicy food. I used to oh. live in New Orleans, and I understand that your recipes are really authentic. They're truly authentic uh, from Lafayette, Louisiana. So very, very um, rooted um, to the recipes from many, many years ago. So. All right, and crawfish really having a moment right now, right? Yes, it's, yes. it's really big in Louisiana, mm -hmm. uh, but now it's kind of spreading. We see these crawfish restaurants popping up, and this has been a menu item for a while for you guys. It has been, but we've noticed a real resurgence in about the last five years. Um, it's, it's exciting to see it grow, because it really has started off as peasant food back in the day. And it, it's starting to really come around back as the new lobster. It's really a delicacy. It's a really light, delicate meat. Um, and it's a really fun food to eat, so it really it it's is very fun. Social. You get to get dirty. You can yeah. eat it with your hands. What they say, pinch the tail, suck the head. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's jump in. Show us how you uh, how you make your crawfish. Sure. So um, what with our stock is really important because I think when you're creating um, the traditional Louisiana style, which we do, you're going to have onions. Of course, you're going to have the potatoes and the corn, but you're going to have a really and good the, base. The interesting thing is you put the potatoes in whole, right? You put the and potatoes in whole because when you serve it, you just kind of throw it out on the you table. You do, and you can add sausage and all kinds of fun things. So we just kind of do mostly uh, lemon. Um, we'll add some garlic. We have our special spices. So we have a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic. Okay, a little onion, bit of special garlic. Special seasoning. And then a lot of hot sauce. And you, you've got water in the pot yes, too already, right? We do. Right? We okay. do. So it's boiling. And then what you do is just uh, you let the, the flavors oh, I can marry. Smell it. Yeah, oh. it's so tasty. Mud bugs. And then you just have the crawfish boiling away. And what happens is over time, of course, the shells are going to add flavor to the stock. Mm -hmm. It's going to just make add that depth of flavor. And then once you pull them out, um, we would just pull them out of the pot essentially and put right. them into the dish. And then we just add our final little bit of seasoning, a little bit of secret seasoning here, and just toss it all up. And then you just serve it up. We serve ours mainly with just corn and potato. Yeah, I know a lot of people put whole ears of corn in there or yes. chopped up corn on the cob. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know if you want to have one or not. You're welcome to help yourself. Got a nice big guy here. And it has a little bit of a muddy, like an earthy taste, but it does. Mm. See, so does this bring you back? Mm. It does. It does. <laughs> I said all we need is a hurricane, right? On exactly. We've got the glasses. Uh, we just need the drink. drink. Mm. And but it's so yeah. good. But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's something that you eat with your fingers. Mm -hmm. and so if you're planning a crawfish party or a crawfish yeah. boil, what else should be on the menu besides the corn and the potatoes and everything you throw in there? I know you've got some great uh, well, entrees really, at the, I mean, at some the of restaurant. The, a lot of people really enjoy our boils. I think the boils have been really popular lately. I think they're really gaining um, in popularity because they're so social. They are fun. You can get dirty. You get groups of people together. So really, we have our shrimp boils. We often have crab. Um, we have our crawfish etouffee. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be doing crawfish, you can feature it so many different ways. Um, the etouffee is fantastic. You can eat it on its own, or you can smother it over like a blackened catfish. <sighs> or, uh, yeah, blackened catfish, which is delicious. We of course have our fried crawfish, um, and then we have other options on the menu as well. But really, if you're going to be doing a boil, you're going to be wanting the dirty, the food you can just eat with your hands. Right. Yeah. Just get messy. Just pile you know? some paper towels yeah. on on the table. Yeah, right? exactly. It's so informal and yeah. fun. You have a great Great happy hour at the restaurant. Yes, we, we do. do. Yeah, um, Monday to Fridays from three to three to five and three to six, and you really just get a good choice of all these items. Now the thing is with crawfish, it's a very finite season, mm -hmm. so we're coming to right. an end. So this is our last weekend um, until next year, February of uh, 2018. So they're really only in season from February till June. Um, last year we had a great season; they went until late July, um, and they're they're really. They're just a lot of fun, and I think people have really kind of jumped on the bandwagon, um, you know, having a lot of fun with it. It's and a lot more inexpensive than lobster, oh too. Oh, my gosh. It, it is. is. It is. Lobster, well, right? you get a pound and a half for about $23, $25, where lobster, you wouldn't necessarily, you'd be paying a lot more, and, you know. And what's amazing with us is we actually overnight it. So we get them fresh. They're alive. Uh, fresh from the bayou? Oh, fresh can, from the bayou. I can show yeah, you. We've got our little guy right here. Oh, he's kicking. He's kicking. It's amazing because we literally, it, everything that we make is fresh to order. Dinner's um, ready. Yeah, Dinner's so ready. we fly it in fresh, about 300 pounds. We're only going to have it for as while supplies last. So once it's gone, it's gone. And our last one's going to be this weekend for Father's Day weekend. Oh. Yeah, so we're super excited to be able to share this kind of experience with fathers no and families. No boring brunch. Dad yeah. wants crawfish. Yes, right? yeah, exactly. And some cold beer or whiskey. And I know you've got moonshine at the restaurant. Oh, we have a and lot. And great desserts, beignets, we chocolate have beignets, bread pudding. We have a, uh, a peach cobbler as well, oh. which is all just made so fresh. Good. Everything's made fresh to order every day. Um, we're, we, we don't believe in frozen. I think it's really important that you feel the love in the food. If it's southern, mm -hmm. you know, and it's from Louisiana particularly, you want to have the sense that somebody in the kitchen is cooking with love. And, you know, our 
chef has been with us for many, many years, has been cooking um, these recipes and has really fine-tuned it. And we have a huge following from Louisiana that just love our food. Space, um, so that spicy and fun. Spicy, yep. but not too spicy. It yeah. should have flavor as well. And I think Thanks, it's guys. good to have a balance. All right. Thank you. Last crawfish boil this weekend. Yes. For more information about Raging Cajun, they're in Redondo Beach right there on PCH. Uh -huh. yep. Just go to kcal9.com. You can click Scene on TV.